Folklorama is in full swing and one of the pavilions you can check out this week is the African Pavilion. And this morning we're going to give you a taste of what you can try when it comes to their culture's cuisine. So here to show us how to make a traditional West African dish are Stella and Maggie. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Yeah, thank, thank you. you for so Stella, this. what are we making? So today we're going to show you how to make jollof rice. Jollof rice. rice. Yes. And Maggie, is this rice, is this something that people would eat every day for dinner or is this something for weddings and birthdays on special occasions? It can be both. It can be for every day's dinner or for special occasions and even for going on a picnic. Ooh, I like that. Yes. All right, okay, yeah. so Stella, I see lots of ingredients here. Mm -hmm. What we've done is we've put half a cup of oil in, in right that, now. Yes. What happens after we put the half cup of oil? So after you put your oil, you, the onions go in first. So people, some people like crushed onions or slice. I like so slice. You like slice. Yeah. So we put a slice in, okay, and wait for it to be a little bit brown. It's cooked, and when the onion is cooked, it gets soft. So then after that, you put your hot pepper, hot Scottish bonnet pepper. It's very hot, so it's up to you how, how hot you want it. Okay. Okay, so then the pepper goes in. All right. Okay, when the onion is cooked, the pepper goes in. Then, because it's fresh, it has this freshy taste, so you have to wait till that scent is gone. Then you put your fresh tomatoes in there. All right. And then, you know, um, you don't want it to be watery. It's, some of the tomatoes become very liquid. Yeah. So then this is your tomato crush and your tomato paste to thicken it. That'll thicken the, it all up. Yeah. yeah. The, the, so the crush goes in. All right. And then the paste and to the thicken the, well. the the. Perfect. The sauce. Yeah. The one thing with jollof is that you can put any spice you want on it. Okay. Yeah. So you the, any get creative. flavor. Yeah, you get creative. This is the the pepper that. Oh, this is the Scotch yeah, bonnet pepper. Okay. Pepper, yeah. So give me some examples because so, you got what's this? Nutmeg. This is a little bit curry. Oh, curry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And this is a bit nutmeg. Okay. And this is um, um, chicken base. Uh, with no MSG. Okay. Because mm -hmm. for Kurama we sell it with chicken, so yeah. we want it to bring the chicken out. So Absolutely. This is the flavor for that. So that's mm -hmm. it. What is yeah. uh, what does jollof mean? Uh, what's jo that's a good. Oh, question. it's a tough question. <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot here. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Rice yeah. rice well, in, in a sauce. stew into uh, made into a sauce. Okay. So yeah. when the stew is made, just like Stella explained, yeah. you you get it concentrated. Yeah, so, so it so, will so look like that. this. So, so do me a when favor. It's Right. Mm -hmm. Lay that sit right she over here. Okay. Yeah, there yeah. we go. So yeah. once yeah. all the sauce is there and everything's going together, all the yes. good stuff's coming, yeah. how do you know when that's done? Yeah. So a little bit oil comes to the top, okay. not too oily, and it thickens up, so you get it concentrated. You started off with liquid, but yeah. it's going to be concentrated. So from here, you add about five cups of water mm -hmm. into it, let it boil, Rinse your rice. Yeah. It can be any kind of rice. Whatever Jollof rice is very forgiving, so any type of <laughs> rice goes. So you rinse your rice, add it to the broth that you have boiling. Okay. And then let it sit. And then you're good cook. to go. It cook for like three minutes. It's and quick. Then you lower the heat and it steams. And th that's yeah. a big thing, right? Don't yes. let the heat cook it. Don't let the it steam kind of take over. Yes. And before we show the final product, you were telling me about the salt. Yes. yes. Okay. The salt. Okay. When you put your water okay. into the th uh, the thickness, yeah. taste it because jollof rice need, the, it has to be more salt than if you're going to eat it as stew. Okay. Like you're going to put the stool on your rice. All right. Okay. Otherwise, when if the final product will be like there's no salt. No. So you taste it. Make sure it's a little bit salty. That's what and you the, want. Yes. And then when the rice is cooked, yeah. it tastes fine. And I'm just going to show everyone this beautiful final product. Beautiful bed of rice right here. And I love the color on this too. It looks so good. Here we go. There you go. There's the Jollof rice right over here. I'm going to move it over on every camera there. There we go. I'm going to hold this up over here. Before we go, Maggie, let me ask you, what can people expect at the African Pavilion? Oh, a lot. Apart from the jollof rice, yes. we have some chicken. We have <laughs> salad. Right. We oh, have salad. No, no, no. Come on over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. There's so much happening down at the African Pavilion. It's happening at the Holy Cross Gym all this week. Go down and check it out. Thank you so much. Are we done?